Recent expeditions have provided striking new images of the Titanic, revealing the ship's slow but inevitable decay on the ocean floor. These images were captured by two remotely operated vehicles that took over 2 million images and 24 hours of high definition footage of the wreck and the surrounding debris field. The most notable change is the loss of a large section of the ship's railing which has now fallen to the sea floor. The railing was made famous by the iconic scene in the 1997 film Titanic and it was still attached during a 2022 expedition but has since buckled and detached. The metal structure of the ship is being consumed by microbes forming rusticles which are stalactites of rust that contribute to the ship's gradual disintegration. The latest expedition aims to create a highly detailed 3D digital scan of the entire ship's wreck, providing a comprehensive view of the current state of the Titanic. The Titanic sank in April 1912 after hitting an iceberg. This resulted in the loss of approximately 1,500 lives. The wreck now lies about 3,800 metres below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, split into two main sections the bow and the stern, which are about 800 metres apart. Thomasina Ray, the Director of Collections for the company that carried out this latest expedition, and she says about the discovery, she says, The bow of the Titanic is just iconic. You have all these moments in popular culture, and that's what you think of when you think of this shipwreck. Well, it doesn't look like that anymore. And she goes on to say, it's just another reminder of the deterioration that's happening every day. People ask all the time, how long is Titanic going to be there? We just don't know, but we're watching it in real time. The team believes that the section of railing, which is about 4.5 metres long, and they believe that it fell off at some point within the last two years. Previous expeditions have found that parts of the Titanic are collapsing. Dives led by the explorer Victor Vescova in 2019 showed that the starboard side of the officers' quarters were collapsing, destroying staterooms and obliterating features like the captain's bath from view altogether. This summer's Titanic expedition took place over July and August. Two remotely operated vehicles captured more than 2 million images and 24 hours of high definition footage of both the wreck, which split apart as it sank, with the bow and stern lying about 800 metres apart and the debris field surrounding it. The company is now carefully reviewing the footage to catalogue its finds and will eventually create a highly detailed 3D scan of the entire wreck site. The team also announced the discovery of an artefact they were hoping to find, even though it was against all the odds. In 1986, a bronze statue called the Diana of Versailles was spotted and photographed by Robert Ballard, who had only just discovered the site of the Titanic wreck one year earlier, but its location was not known and the 60 centimetres tall figure was not documented again. Now, though, it has been discovered lying face up in the sediment of the debris field. This is a statue that was once on display for the Titanic's first class passengers. And the researchers who discovered it said it was like finding a needle in a haystack and to rediscover it this year was monumental. The first class lounge was the most beautiful and unbelievably detailed room on the ship and the centerpiece of that room was the Diana of Versailles. These new images and data offer valuable insights into the ongoing decay of the Titanic, helping scientists and historians alike to understand how long the wreck might continue to exist. The findings also serve as a poignant reminder of the ship's tragic history and its enduring legacy.